Pi Network Password Recovery and the Pi Wallet Passphrase Recovery. Now, I got to tell you this. This is going to be one of the most important videos, if not the most important video you ever get to watch about Pi Network. So please do me a favor. Number one, please save this video. If you do not have a special folder, you're saving this Pi Network videos, please let this be the first one. Create a folder and save this because this might just save you in future. We are talking about your password, how to recover it. If you have lost your password, if you've lost your passphrase, if you want to get back your account, or if you have an active account you might still lose your account that's why i'm telling you this is the most important video you get to watch about pine network that i'm doing so please take time to watch till the end how to recover your pa uh, your password for your pi network how to recover your pi wallet your pa what how what what's going on how can i do this so if you've lost your account if you do not know what's going, please tell me in the comment section below what's your level as well if you're having your problem with a pi network phone number and sms across the world if you're trying to confirm your phone number kyc because phone number is attached with your kyc liveness check and everything if you you have a problem with a phone number on Pi Network, keep it locked. I'm going to handle that as well. So let us start here. Let us start here. This is the Pi browser. I've got the Pi browser uh, app opened up here. And this is the Pi browser. The first thing first you need to understand if you have lost your password, if you've lost your passphrase for the wallet, this uh, uh, Pi wallet uh, passphrase, these are two totally different things. Two totally different apps handle these two different things. So let's start with the Pi app mining app. So the mining app, the mining app exclusively handles your mining, what you're mining daily. And the Pi browser exclusively now houses your wallet, your Pi wallet that has your seed freeze where your, your Pi coins are being stored on the Pi browser. So these are two different apps and you need to have both of them. You mine on the miner on the Pi app and then you, it's transferred to the Pi browser. So let's first of all handle the Pi uh, mining app. Now that you understand the mining app is exclusively just for mining, nothing else uh, you do on the on the mining app. So uh, the first thing, the first issue, you can't log in. So the first question is, uh, have you uh, have you tried remembering your password? Because the only three ways that you can log in, as you can see, is through Facebook, uh, through a phone number, and sign in through Apple. So the first thing I tell people, and what Pi always tells you, please make sure that you try to link as many networks to your Pi uh, app as possible. Link your Facebook, link your phone number, link your Apple account, link your email, make sure it is secure and all this have to be linked properly. If you have, uh, if you're on, on, on Apple, you can have your face ID. I'm not sure if on Android you have your fingerprint and your thumbnail and your uh, your biometrics. I'm not sure. Please tell me in the comment section below. But these are the three ways. So the first thing you need to ask yourself is that you've forgotten your password. Um, how did I sign up? Did you sign up using Facebook? Did you sign up using your phone number? Or did you sign up using Apple? If you signed up using Facebook, you can easily click here Facebook. And now it goes, uh, you need to remember your Facebook account. Da, 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 and that's another, another ball game by itself. If you've signed up with Apple, the same thing, it's an external party. But now the main thing that actually anchors your account, the most important thing is your phone number. So let's say you've forgotten your password, but you remember your phone number. So what do you do? You come here, you click your phone number, continue with phone number, and it brings you this panel. Now you select your country code. I am in Kenya right now. I select Kenya. So you select your country code. I am in Kenya right now. I select Kenya. I come here. I put up my number. It's clipping. I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for that. I think if I'm typing, it's actually clipping. Give me a second. So I put up my number here. So that so that's a fake number. It's not my real number though. <laughs> Don't try to call it. And then I click submit. I think I needed to put the exact number, uh, submit phone number valid. Okay, so I come here and I do not know my password. So what do I do next? You come here and you click forgotten password. It's as simple as that. So click forgot password. Uh, and that is going to bring you the, uh, this pop up and said, and no worries, uh, your mind pie is not lost. You can use this button below to start recovering your account. But I want to remind you that this is 
factually incorrect. Your mind, your mind pie might be lost if you have forgotten your past phrase, your seed phrase is very important. Yes, you might recover your account, but you might not recover your wallet because these are two totally different browsers. So yeah, uh, here you can use your button to get back your mining account. So let's re pick recover account. And then you'll notice another thing. It brings back your phone number that you signed up with, that you assigned your main phone number that was linked. So it's as simple as this. Go here, uh, uh, click your country code. And come here. One thing I forgot to mention, when you're putting your number, do not, and I repeat, if you are having a problem with an SMS, with your SMSs on Pi Network, please do not include the zero in the number when you're adding your number. This is a very simple thing that the Pi systems, I don't know why, why they haven't corrected this. The zero, and this is especially to a lot of African countries. If you have a problem, do not. So come here, include your country code just like this. But when you come here to put your number, start with the seven or the eight or whatever number, but remove the zero. If you add the zero, the number will go through and the number will not allow you to change it. I don't know why. So do this. So that is a fake number I've put up without the zero and then you click submit. Remember, this is your phone number that you have, the phone number that you actually signed up with. This is how you recover. So click submit. And when you click, and when you click submit, you'll notice something. This pop-up will come and ask you, send a message, text a verification code. Now you need to send a text message to United States or Australia or Belgium, depending. I have tested out United Kingdom. It's closer to, to Africa where I am than United States. It worked for me. I've also tried the US one. It actually worked. But here, what you do, you do not click open SMS. Come here and click manual instructions. Come here, click manual. So you can still use US if you want manual instruction so it's as simple as this come and copy come and copy this text and then send it to this number open your phone message sms this is the recipient number you're sending in the number to the message to and this is the code just copy here copy send uh send and it's going to cost you roughly 0.1 dollar depending on your current exchange 0 0.1 0 0.2 dollar uh that's what i've noticed 0 0.1 sometimes it was speaking some there's a time I, I i paid almost a dollar to send a message it was very expensive especially when we were moving toward mainnet so when they notice the traffic is too much i i, I think uh, the request becomes so expensive and that's why they have different uh, services. So you can come to Australia, Belgium, uh, United Kingdom, Israel. Yo, I got to tell you this. When, when I was trying to change my phone number, because once you're logged in, then you can change your phone number. If you're trying to change your phone, if you forgot your phone number, you cannot change it. And you can only change your password with your phone number. So it's a kind of a catch-22 kind of situation. You're caught in between. You must have one. It's either you have your password and your phone number, you log in. Or if you've forgotten your, your password, you must have your phone number. Uh, one of the things that I have had a problem with is that I added a zero. So when I was trying to send this message, it was not going. I sent messages to United States, Australia, Belgium, all through. It never went. So once, once you copy this and uh, that is done, you come down here and you click, I have sent the message. Now that's what, what, what it's gonna do. It's going out to confirm, it's loading, it's loading, checking the system, whether or not you have sent the message from the number that was actually signed up initially. So that is what it, it, it's actually doing. And once it's done, it actually tells you uh, you can log in, you can now you proceed to change your password and it's as simple as that to recover your uh, password. It's as simple as that, as simple as that. But one thing I got to tell you, this is just the mining app, recovering the mining app. If you've lost your phone number, if you've lost your password, if you do not have a Facebook account, if you do not have an Apple ID linked, the, best and the last hope for you is just to email support there's nothing else that can help you utterly nothing else now that is the mining app so let's talk about um let's talk about the um, 
Uh, let's talk about the the what recovering your let's talk about recovering your pie wallet now recovering your pie wallet is a totally different thing and i think i need to sign in for that okay we're in so i have logged in i've logged in into my account we are in so this is the pie browser so when you come to the pie browser if you want to reset your wallet it's as simple as just logging into your pie browser um now the problem here is that you cannot log into your pine browser if you do not have your password as you've seen i've just easily uh, quickly typed in my password got in uh, i've remembered my phone number put it in put my password uh, and we are in uh, but if you don't have your password you cannot access your browser so this is the thing. You cannot reset your Pi wallet if you do not have access to your Pi mining app. It's as simple as that. The first thing first you need to do is recover your account and then recover your wallet. So when it comes to your wallet, you come here, uh, you uh, click your wallet, recover your wallet. And then you notice there are two ways here. Uh, you can unlock with a Pi phrase, uh, passphrase or uh, unlock with a touch ID or come here. So when it comes to the wallet now the painful reality is that when it comes to cryptocurrency all wallets are non-custodial non-custodial means that you're the one who's operating them it is not like your mobile money it's not like your paypal it's not like your pioneer it's not like your wise or any other digital wallet you are the one who's controlling it if you forget access to that account the best you can do is what i'm showing you right now the best you can do is create another account because there's no one who can actually save you so you just have to come down here and click create a new wallet that's the only thing you can do and that yeah honestly speaking <laughs> that is the only thing you can do come and create yeah come and create a new wallet because once it's done it's done it's gone your pie phrase is your life it's your everything if you're on apple you can link up with your face id with your biometrics if it's allowed on android but once you lose it let no one ever lie to you that you can get it back and that's a painful reality so what you can do you can recover if you lost your pie phrase you can't really get it back but you can get your account back so you'll get your mining account back come here generate a new wallet and then link this wallet with your mining app and then you start mining afresh with a new wallet and that wallet that you lost has gone like that and it can't be recovered and that is the painful reality about all this yes that is the painful reality so make sure that you actually save make sure that you actually put your passphrase very very safely write it down save it somewhere be very creative be very smart in terms of where you're saving it because once you lose it it's done it's gone and as you see we, you cannot recover once it's gone it's gone you can't really recover it so if you're wondering how do i recover my password what do i do i've lost my account i hope i've answered you if you have any other question i want to make this long if you have any other question please tell me in the comment section below i hope you found value in this because value is what we want to drive and growing the community is our goal with value so save this video it might come in handy remember we've talked about recovering your account you can only recover your mining account and recover it using your phone number uh, uh, you cannot recover your Pi phrase account, pa passphrase, it's gone. The Pi wallet, uh, Pi core team cannot reset the password or the passphrase to you, it's gone. It, it can't happen. That's what cryptocurrency is. Cryptocurrency is basically the movement of currency, uh, or digital currency from one person to another person without the need of a financial institution in between. And without the, the financial institution in between, uh, becomes tricky getting accounts, getting all this up and running. But tell me what you think on the comment section below. I don't want to make this long. Tell me what you think on the comment section below.